Hello everyone, Carlos here with Austin Kayak. We're uh, coming out to you from downtown Austin. We're at Lady Bird Lake. And I want to talk to you today about the new kayak for ACK. This is the Lightning Kayak Striker. Um, the Lightning Kayak Striker is a kayak that is, uh, it was designed and manufactured here in the U.S. And it took some uh, proven and tested technology uh, that you're going to be very familiar with. So it is a fin driven uh, pedal drive kayak. Um, kind of starting very simply with the features. So with the specs, this is a 12 foot six boat, uh, 34 inches wide, uh, 34 inches wide, uh, so plenty st uh, of uh, stability. And um, I'm gonna do, uh, do a quick walk around of kind of walkthrough, sorry, of the whole boat. So on the bow and the stern, you have molded in handles. Those are super, super um, uh, comfy because typically on some other toggle handles, whenever you're lifting the kayak, you can kind of bust your knuckles or it gets, uh, gets kind of uncomfortable. So molded in handles, that's a, plus, uh, that's a big plus. The hole design is a tri-hole design, uh, meaning it has um, two kind of recessed areas in the center and then three points of contact with the water. Kind of the center line typically improves tracking and then the ones on the side um, improve the um, secondary stability. As you can tell, at 34 inches wide, it's, it's very stable and I have to say that. And when comparing it with an Outback, I would dare to say that it is as stable, if not even more. So just keep that in mind, my personal opinion. Uh, um, so again, super, super stable. Uh, it's got a big, large hatch on the front. Uh, it just opens and closes very easy with a couple of bungee cords. And it is big enough for you to store your paddle in there. You can also store a couple of fishing rods. So again, not only for small accessories or maybe a dry bag or stuff that you're gonna be using on the water. So if you're gonna be transporting your gear, uh, you can have everything inside the hull of the boat. Uh, open deck uh, concept, it's got marine mat on the center here with the uh, Edge Lining Kayaks logo. Uh, that typically adds gonna it's gonna add um, um, better control on the kayak as you stand on it. It's gonna be as slippery, and it also kind of dampens uh, the sound um, a bit. Um, something that is found in a lot of kind of pedal driven kayaks. It also has molded in foot pegs, so if for some reason you're running a river, uh, you're coming um, going out or coming back in the surf, and you decide to paddle, uh, you have enough kind of bracing on the kayak um, to control the boat on the water. Again, like I said, the kayak is made in the USA, so that's, uh, that's a big plus as always. And it's got plenty of track on each side of the boat. It's got about 14 inches here and more track here on the side to mount your favorite accessories. On this case, we have the rod holder too from Railblazer. So again, you can put your camera mount, your fish finder, any accessory that you might use while you're on the water, whether you're just taking it out for a spin on the lake or maybe even fishing from it. Uh, rudder control could be left or right hand side. You don't see now these days on a lot of kayaks, but um, it comes with one handle only, and you can decide whether you want to switch it to the left on the right, and it's very, very, very easy to do so. Um, in the center here of the cockpit, you have an eight inch hatch um, that opens to the, of course, the inside of the hole. Again, if you want to store kind of your um, um, uh, belongings that you want to have close to you. Um, the handles on the side are recessed and they're molded into the, to the kayak um, that kind of allows a much better grip and they don't they don't get on the way of kind of the paddle or maybe when you're lashing or leashing sorry the, the lashing leashing the kayak to a trailer or your truck paddle holder on both sides left or right again just like the handle the seat is adjustable it has three three positions we currently have it on the high position and then it's got it has a buckle cam here just kind of drop it undo it and then i'll show you here in the water so you can just go ahead and drop the seed from one position to the other. So that's gonna be your low, that's gonna be your high, and that's gonna be your medium. So again, three different positions. You just kinda, once you decide where you wanna have it, tighten up the buckle and you're good to go. Very comfortable to be on the water all day. Uh, kinda behind the, uh, the seed, you have two molded um, flush mount rod holders. And they're, unlike some other rod holders that are kinda sticking to the back, these ones are kinda pointing outside. So great for trolling, by the way. So that way you can have a bigger, uh, a bigger, uh, better spread. And then for the tank, well, big enough, of course, on this case, we have a Hobie H grade, big enough to carry a roadie, even a Tundra 35, and even ample space to have something else behind it. Uh, the rudder is controlled here, um, to kind of to stow it with a cable. So right now it's in the deployed position, so I can kind of go up my way. But when I'm getting out of the water, I just pull this cord. Um, it's got a cleat here that holds the cable and then the rudder is tucked in into the hull of the boat. Um, the beauty of it, again, not only is a very rich, uh, feature rich kayak, um, great for fishing, super stable, made in America, uh, but it comes at 1749. So it's 1,700 
$749. We have them listed already on ATK.com and they come in two different colors. This is a forest camo and um, it's also available on the slate camo, which is kind of like a light blue. If you go to ACK.com, you can see the additional, uh, additional information. And so let us know what you think. Um, we want to hear from you. So don't forget to share, like, and comment below and tell us what you think about the Lightning Kayak Strike HD.